My name is Caleb Omolo. I'm the director of Sustainable Village Resources. My name is Maurice Obuya, deputy director SVR. So I do monitoring and evaluation and project development in SVR. My name is James Diongo. I'm the national extension director at uh, SVR. Training the advanced, uh, the first advanced PDC in Africa uh, went on well. We had the uh, three live ecosystems that is Kisumu, Rongo, and the uh, Jefferson Spamaka Ecospheres. Uh, the participants had an opportunity to interact with these uh, systems, and uh, the participants also had an opportunity to look at the 18 Bill Mollison principles of mass regeneration and they had an opportunity to make a, a small intensive uh, kitchen garden and also to participate in uh, to participate in creating indigenous uh, eco ecosystems within the community by planting um, indigenous plants and wood plants and uh, we also feel that uh, the next training will also have a lot of practical activities so that uh, the participants can have more time uh, to conduct hands-on activities and improve their hands-on skills. It was fun during the practicals whereby we went to the field and practiced what we had, we had learned in class. Although we had uh, various challenges such as uh, heavy rainfall, uh, but we still uh, worked with nature and uh, we accomplished a lot. from Nairobi. I work with the Ghetto Smart group based in Nairobi. Uh, it is situated in Lunga Lunga. It is an informal settlement. I am the project manager. So basically in Nairobi, I am the person in charge of both the projects that are ongoing. We have one uh, housing project and another one a food forest in Makwini Salam. My name is Gabriel Turich Duck. Uh, from Transoya County, Kitale, a member of Rotary, member of Rotaract Club of Kitale, Chata President of the Rotaract Club of Kitale. My name is Selina Nkoile, I come from Kajiado County in Kenya and I'm the founder and executive director for Neshipai Masai Community Project. the training, uh, the seven days, eight days training. I hope I'm not exaggerating, but I think the setup, the setup of the classroom, I really enjoyed it. And um, also, they did concentrate too much on the theory part. I really learned the aspect of, uh, the aspect of uh, inclusivity, the aspect of uh, just living the nature, building the nature, and it is still giving back. To the, to the farm or to the people living on it. For me, I think um, permaculture can solve food security, can solve the problem of hunger. Like permaculture equals to zero hunger and you know as long as people can afford something to eat and they can take care of the environment so it's a win-win, then I think that will be the beginning of solving our problems. So I welcome everybody to do permaculture, to practice permaculture, because then we will be taking care of the environment, we will be taking care of ourselves, and we will all be winning and not destroying our environment. Ashe Oleng, that's thank you in our fine Maasai language. Ole Sere, bye. The theory, practicals, the demos really worked for me. And also the trainers are so passionate about this. And you know, once a passionate person is training you, I got a lot of knowledge from it. I got a lot of rich materials from it. And there are things that most of the trainings that we attend, you attend the seven days training, you go home and you forget about it. But for this one, I think because of the setup, everything that is, everything that they, in that whole package is really so useful to me that I'm sure the information that, everything that um, I've learned in this whole week, I I will go with it for a long time. Thank you so so very much. I am actually sad I am going back to Nairobi, but what to do? 
the food actually the food my god thank you so much erokamano i think god bless you yes from a culture it has been an exciting week to interact with everyone here build new networks new friendship and uh, we welcome everyone on board and it is exciting to learn and uh, experience te new techniques new life skills yeah so it will be exciting to see this thing go to South Sudan because I'm originally from that country love my people love the country I'm from and uh, build the network of this Africa board so my message to the <laughs> my students and to the farmers and to the world is like global warming is real uh, monoculture is killing us because it's, it depends on so much input from uh, agricultural uh, waste so I'm encouraging everybody to stop going into the shops and you grow your own and also become self-reliant Ecosystem mm -hmm. a design program, and uh, we are here to learn. So, what are you here to learn about? We are here to learn about uh, how to establish systems on growing, growing a national forest, man made forest. Yeah. Okay. Have a nice time. Coffee. Thank you. I have my <coughs> black knife seed and this Then the, the first one humus And most free carbon does not equal mingi kuliko nitrogen Because you put a lot of nitrogen moto yako ni mingi kuliko kuni Yeah yeah so The light. 